Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to Sign at Television. Got my script ready to go because we're going to be going over to Star Car to take a look at the building of a Chevrolet Caprice. And of course, for those of you outside the United States, this particular vehicle is a Holden made in the great part of the world known as Australia. Big shout out to the gang on that fantastic continent. Beautiful part of the world, by the way. However, the car has landed in Star Car Land and it is being outfitted by the gang over there. We're going to go over right now and check it out. Devin, so you're uh, working on this particular flying caprice. So right now, what are you mounting in? Oh, just get some uh, brackets bent up for the grill lights. Okay, grill lights going in. I see you've already got the uh, mirror beams on on this particular configuration, and uh, looks like you guys also got some of the rear compartment area starting to come together with respect to the uh, Satina window protection for the rear doors, left and right side as well. Yep. So you're going to mount the uh, lights down on the grill here, so you had to make a bracket specifically for this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just going to get a bracket that kind of gets them roughly in the center of the grill, and they don't want to notch out this grill at all, so they're just going to set right behind it. Okay. This is a special vehicle. They're going to do something different with it, I guess, it's for sort of gang enforcement kind of concept? Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of want it, uh, not so much stealth, like blacked out lights, light heads and whatnot, but just, uh, you know, no... Uh, no light bar, just interior lighting and stuff like that. So Devin, you're working on this uh, black caprice, and what are you up to right now? Uh, we're gonna try and get the bump or uh, the vertexes here and the bumper inserts. Try and find a good spot that provides some side lighting as well as front. So you're looking at putting in the lower. Air dam in the front fairing. Mm -hmm. I like the way you say bumper. That sounds very European. <laughs> hey Austin, what are you working on? Well, I just finished running some of these wires and now I got to put the door panel back on. Okay, so you're basically putting on the ions yep. on the mirror beams Yep. externally. Just ran them through the door cavity and inside the car. Hey Danny. Hi Stuart. What you doing? Um, well I'm working on mounting this visor light up here in this car. This talon. So essentially talon. this particular vehicle is getting some used equipment as well as new equipment. Yeah. And this is part of this gang enforcement car that you guys are building for this customer here in the northwest. So you're gonna mount it up there? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna go up here, something like this. So you tape the front windscreen area more or less where you want to kind of place it. Yeah. And put it into position. I put the tape up there and then I can line it up where I want it to mount it. So in the rear window you're going to put in these single talons mounted on the back package tray I made this bracket little let it sit up here actually the talon is 
or was once in existence and now it's known as the Avenger. So again, the Avenger is what you're going to be mounting on the back here. Although, do these ones say Talon on these particular models? Yeah. And then these rear seats are going to go in the back here, this rear seat here. Yeah, this is the back seat for it. And then you also have a Satina screen you're going to mount in there too. Mm-hmm. And then also this uh, Troy pull-out tray, you're going to mount in the uh, rear trunk area. Yeah. And this here is the uh, Troy console, along with the Co3 Mastercon and the particular radio. Then you're going to go ahead and put the uh, partition in the back? Yep, we're going to put the partition in and get it bolted down. Okay, right. ready? Ready. So, uh, we're going to take this little bit off right here. Oh, that's right. Where's that? Do you have that? Oh, uh, it's should be on your side. Tilt it up. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a bolt started in here. While Danny and Austin are working on this exciting part, what are you up to, Devin? Oh. Just prepping the trunk to put the tray in. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. Just get the wires in there, and then uh, back and put the, the whole tray up, bolt it up to the brackets I just mounted back there. Now this wiring harness that's coming out here is this uh, something you guys have installed? Yeah. Those are the wires we ran from the console to the green tray. Yeah. So guys, basically right now you've got the, uh, the screen in that portion, and then Austin, what you're saying earlier is you basically have to finish off what? Next? So basically, before we can go any farther on this, um, we have to get the trunk all ready for the trunk or the pull-out tray, and then once that's done, then we can get the back seat in and finish out the rest of the partition. Right. So we're going to go ahead and light it right up. So 
show us that coming together, Danny. I really appreciate that. How's it going, Devin? Good. All right. You're going to show us the trunk area in a few seconds. So right now we've got the uh, red and blues on. Swing around this way. Now, to a degree, you reused a lot of equipment in this car. Yeah. Um, some of the stuff, like the, the grill lights are reused. The, the Talon. The Avengers. Well, what, is, what was once called a Talon, which is now called an Avenger, you reused that as well. Now, the yeah. ions, obviously, on the left and right side exterior mirrors were purchased new. I know that for a fact. The deck lights are, are new as well. Are oh, they're used. We'll go back down and check those out in a second. And you then put some vertexes down here. Again, that was something that was basically uh, added into the uh, the package as opposed to uh, being secondhand. That was new as well. Yeah. Okay. That's great to see. Recycling, secondhand, whatever term you want to use. Get an extra bit of life for the next generation of car. It's really great to be able to do that. Then inside the vehicle itself, you've got a console which of course is from the gang over in Troy which is in California let's open the store here real quick we'll go in and have a look so you've got the uh, Troy console mounted into position along with the uh, Co3 Mastercom now that's also a reused uh, unit as well yeah that was reused okay yeah. now the screen the Satina screen which is in the back here which we can now clearly see that was brand new right. I saw yourself in Austin putting that in earlier yeah dome light reuse that as well no that's a factory factory option. issued one yeah actually that comes from sound off and then you had the uh, gamber johnson mount that you installed into this vehicle so they could put in their mdt as well and then you have your lower airbag switch which is kind of behind the wiring there we kind of get a quick zoom in there we go and you can see it there mounted in to allow you to turn off the passenger airbag on that vehicle and um, the next thing then is you've got your uh, outlets all that stuff there yep great three power outlets fantastic okay the map letter is also reused right okay fantastic great hey Devin hey so on the back here you've got uh, vertexes which you mounted mm -hmm. into the reverse lights mm -hmm. left and right side there looks great and then what else do you have on the back deck there are the Avengers again. Or yeah, the one single Avengers. The yeah. <laughs> hey, there's Doug. Uh, uh, Doug's showing a Drag City population, 125. Like that's where I believe Doug was born in Drag City. That's where Doug comes from, because uh, he's always out there dragging something. So as we move around the car here, uh, it's crazy over here at Star Car today. Let's take a look inside the rear trunk area. What have we got? Uh, we got the hatch lights that come up since you can't see the deck lights. And the stop stick. Now the stop stick, of course, is something that they supply that you just have to house in the back here. That's designed to deflate a speeding vehicle's tire sets as required. So then as we go inside here, this is the uh, tray you put in also from Troy. Let's take a quick look at that. And then if you, uh, you're going to lift this off here, you've basically got all of your wiring very nicely put into position here. Mm -hmm. Got our uh, battery ignition and time circuits all fused in the back there with a main circuit breaker. And then, Danny, on your side, you've got something interesting to do with the antenna that you mounted on the roof of that. Yeah, it, it's a four band antenna, it has the radio in it and Wi-Fi and GPS. Now also you put in on the left and right sides, so we can see it here, you've got the uh, Whelan TIR3 light heads and you put those in so to give you sort of intersection protection. So left and right side, this one is red and on the other side is blue. And then of course we've got the, if you go inside here, you didn't put door panels on from Satina, so they've left these pretty much standard on that score. And then, of course, you've got the screen and then the rear seat, which I believe is from ADEC. Yeah, we don't need that rear seat in there. Well, there we have it. 
The equipment comes from Sirenet. The installation was done by Danny, Devon, Ted, and Austin, with uh, Doug floating around in the background. He's the head honcho over there. I'm Stuart, and you've been watching Sirenet TV.